This is a quick tutorial on how to add a table of contents into your email, which makes it much easier for your subscribers to find exactly what they're looking for. This is especially great if you're putting a lot of information into your email, which if there isn't an easy way for people to find uh, what they are interested in, it's unlikely that they're going to scroll through your whole email. So this is important. Today we're using MailChimp, which is the recommended email service and we are currently in the campaigns in order to get here just going to click on the top left where it says campaigns and it will take you to this page it will list all of the campaigns that you have previously sent or are working on if you don't have any campaigns if you haven't sent any then you are first going to go to create campaign and go through the steps that it's asking you to today we're going to work on a campaign that is being worked on so we're going to click edit so once it loads it might be um, at different spots depending on the last spot that you were left off in editing your campaign so just in case it's anywhere other than design on the bottom left click on design and it will take you to this page, which is where we're going to add the table of contents. So once your campaign is already complete, once you put your email together, right, we want to first make sure that our titles are in TOC format, which means table of contents format. So we're going to click on the title. You're going to click the edit. You're going to select it. And on the bottom le or top left, I should say, of the text editor, you're going to see f styles, which are formatting styles. You have to make sure that this is selected. So it's TOC, which is Table of Contents, Heading 2. I pick Heading 2 because Heading 1 is a little too big, but it's up to you what you want to use. You can use Heading 2 here. I'm going to save and close. And then there's another title here. I'm going to go here and make sure that it's TOC heading. This is important because this is how when we add the actual table of contents, how the system is going to recognize which are titles and which ones they should include. So that's already a TOC heading. See how it's selected? So I don't need to select that. right here it's already a TOC heading so I don't need to select that once you make sure that all of your headings are selected we're gonna create a text box so we're just dragging the text box and putting that right here where it says drop block here I'm going to delete the text and where it says merge tags click on that it's right in the middle you're going to scroll all the way down. And right there under Content Helpers, it's going to say Table of Contents. I like to center my Table of Contents. And above it, you can say, In this newsletter, you will find. Okay. So you can format it as you please. Save and close. Now we're going to go ahead and preview it and see how it looks. Okay, so as you can see here, the table of contents. If I'm interested in the chorizo burrito, I'm going to click on that and it's going to take me straight here. 